hello all hope you all are doing well and as i said in the previous videos i'm back to community portal and i was looking for some questions and then what happens with those questions is sometimes you find something very interesting which you thought uh, as a developer that oh everybody knows it but then when you see questions and follow up answers on it you understand that there's a gap and i guess in this particular series of where we are talking about community questions will be talking about those kind of questions so today when i was going through it i found this question which is copying company data and setups so hello i need advice to how to copy the company setup and configuration without the transactional data and entries from the existing company i like a fresh company with zero entries but would like to have some chart of account currency languages and other things and how you can do that right so today this is a very old nav trick and i don't know most of the people know it if you know it good it is something around configuration worksheet and all so if you know it great you can leave this and i'll see you in the other video but if you don't know it let's stay and identify that okay so for the demo purposes let's assume this is my production environment and i would like to start fresh on this so what i'll do is i'll go to the companies page and surely we'll create a new company and this is how you create a new company right you get into it you give it a name you choose to have with no data there's no data that should be creating other than what's get created from code unit 2 which is the company initialization code unit and it'll create a new code unit, uh, company now what is the requirement here and this fairly comes in when you are at a customer side where they are implementing you set up their environment and you forgot to take a backup and then they start testing their transactions into it everything was going well but because they started creating transaction now it becomes a problem for you to reset up the new company for the go live or in a case of a re-implementation where customer is like yeah i don't want to bring any historical data just give me my masters and i'll be good with that so how you do that so the first step is you create a new company which you just did so let's switch to the new company and people who are in nav they can also use it because it was part of nav also so once you log into a new company which is technically should be an empty company what you do is you will have to build a list of the tables that you would like to copy from okay and you do it into a page called configuration worksheet so just search for configuration worksheet and you will end up on an empty worksheet which is something like this now you can create a template i'm not a consultant so i'll not be the right person to guide you on this or you can create different groups or you can have tables all right but then there are some built-in uh, tools here which is get tables now here you say okay give me some tables uh, which is this uh, include even who have data in the system which technically no no table should have uh, include the related table or the dimension table or only include the license table so you can enable your booleans as you need and then click ok what will happen it will start adding all the tables that are in your system into this particular worksheet now what happens with that that it brings in all the table and then there are certain booleans here when you move it which tells you how many records are there so like the standard cost have some data uh, this table has six record and this is electronic data exchange format 69 on report selection because these all are kind of getting initialized based on code unit 2 which runs whenever you create a new company right and so on and so forth so there are technically speaking every table in the database which have it and then if you don't want certain tables you can surely select those tables like let's say if i don't want all these tables and should i click the let's assume that for some reason this is not set of my master tables that i need so i can just select them and then i can delete them like this 
all right so you can make the list of tables that you need they can be setup table they can be master table dimension uh, tables and all so just make the list as you need now that may vary customer to customer but as a consultant you can create a template of it based on okay the, these are the very common table that i'll be using in every project and i'm, I'm pretty sure every consultant have it i'm a developer so i can't comment on it once this list is created and what is this box i have never seen it so let's see it let's promote a table okay nothing here okay now here is the status where it is happening or not now what you can do in here is there is also an action called copy data from company so now if you look at it there are no payment terms at this moment the number of records are zero and let's even go into that table or page and see there is literally no data into this new company for the payment term and so on and so forth for other tables there are surely standard text attached to it there's no languages there's no country region and all now what you can do <clears throat> is you can come here make this list as short as you can and then choose copy data from company now this action takes the table list from the previous worksheet where we have created the list of table that we need to copy and then here you can either do a select all like this or you can do selective now remember this sheet is showing you less tables than they are in worksheet and the rule here says that it will only show you the tables which are which do not have any data in this company so like you see that there is 3 4 8 9 and 14 so now if you go back 3 4 7 is not there because it has data 8 9 14 which all have zero data you'll notice that these tables 61 and 77 are not part of it okay and let's try to see can we see the filters so let me do Control alt f1 and see what filters are applied if there are any okay so if you look at it it says it'll only pick line type table uh, the company filter would be demo the company filter from where i'm copying which is selected here is this number of records should be zero and in the source it should not be zero so if a table have no records in the company that you are copying from they'll also not be shown <clears throat> it should be licensed and the copying option should be available now where is that copying option let's come back here and see there should be a boolean saying copy available which seems to be true on all the tables right now here because i just had one other company uh, or I can choose which company I'm copying from so I can just choose this and then it'll start filtering the, the data based on the company that I've chosen okay so let's go back to the Kronos USA and click OK now for the time being I'll select all of these okay we remember the filter that the filter are that the company filter is demo from where it is copying number of record is zero number of record in the source table which is from where it is copying is not equal to zero and license and copying available now if you don't believe that this is the list what you can do is you can come here and apply that filter and say okay um let's see uh, copy available license pages and it does not talk about the source table because there is no reference but that's how this tool is built right so what you can do let's come in here choose the company from where you want to copy select the tables that you want to copy you can either select all you can even do a selection here and then hit on this button called copy data it'll copy the select table uh, data from Cronus do you want to copy the data in Cronus am I in Cronus I should not be okay from the selected tables in Cronus okay I say yes and what it does it automatically copies the data from the Cronus environment to this particular table and I'll click OK so now if I go back to the top of my list which is payment terms which we did check 
you will notice that all the payment terms which were in my customer company are automatically here and so on and so forth for all the tables so this will help you to kind of create that environment the whole idea behind this is that you are able you know what kind of list you need to copy and then that list becomes the kind of a template that you continue start using on all the projects where you might have to re-implement or refresh or rebuild the environment for a go live so how you do this you get into the configuration worksheet identify your table list down the table and then use the action to copy data from and just by doing these simple steps you can just copy the data from a company to a new company and then utilize it for your need now you know the drill if you think this was useful you learn something new hit the like button um if you think others will be this video will be helpful for others then share it on your social media for better reach and if you haven't <coughs> which i seriously doubt then subscribe to the channel i'll see you sooner than later into the next video till then keep learning and keep sharing content with the people thank you have a nice day